Okay, now let's type using touch screen. This method is called braille screen input. Please make sure that your device support more than 5 simultaneous touch. You can test this using multi-touch test app available in the Play Store. In order to test, open the multi-touch test. Touch all your fingers simultaneously. If max events greater than 5, then you can use this feature. Ok, let's start. Double tapping the tapping area. User guide button. Edit box, editing, space. Welcome to advanced braille keyboard, ABK. Drag 6 fingers to assign. Hold 6 fingers more than 5 seconds to change keyboard. Suspend screen reader or disable touch by explore to use braille screen input. As instructed, please suspend screen reader by pressing volume up and volume down button together for 3 seconds. You can switch to normal keyboard by touching 6 fingers simultaneously for more than 5 seconds. Touch 6 fingers together, drag them to convenient position and release to calibrate the 6 dots. You shall feel a vibration if any of your finger is on the border of the screen. So let's suspend talk back. Talk back suspended. Now I am going to calibrate. Okay. English loaded. The 6 fingers represents the 6 braille dots. The default scheme is laptop 321456. That is, left ring finger represents dot 3, left middle finger dot 2, left index finger dot 1, right index finger dot 4, right middle finger dot 5, right ring finger dot 6. Now I am going to type ABK. 1 for A. That is the left index finger. A. 1 and 2 simultaneously for B. B. 1 and 3 simultaneously for K. K. Ok. ABK's braille screen input comes with a set of gestures. There are 12 gestures which are assigned in each dots. That is swipe up or right from a dot is associated with one command and down or left is associated with another command. From dot 1, swipe towards up or right is used to switch language. Let's try it. Hungarian loaded. Again. German loaded. Again coming back to English. English loaded. Okay. From dot 1, swipe towards down or left is used to backspace word. Okay, let's try. A. A deleted. A, B, K deleted. Okay. Swipes from dot 2 will move cursor right or left. Swipes from dot 3 will move cursor word wise right or left. From dot 4, swipe towards right or up will insert a space. Okay, let's try it. A. C. Okay. B. A C B space. Okay. From dot four, swipe towards down or left will work as backspace. Deleted. B deleted. C deleted. A deleted. Okay. From dot five, swipe towards right or up is used for giving normal space without expanding abbreviation. It is used when auto expand abbreviation on space is enabled and you are in need of typing abbreviated word. For example, when we type A, a B, B and give a space, about space, it's expanding to about and if you are in need of just typing AB, just type AB, a, now swipe from dot 5. Ab space. Okay. When auto expand abbreviation on space is disabled, it will expand abbreviations. From dot 5, swipe towards down or left will enable punctuation and numbers. Let's type some numbers. 1. Again. 2. Okay. From dot 6, swipe towards right or up will enable next type of letter to be 
capitalized and swiping twice will enable caps lock swiping twice again will disable caps lock okay let's type some capital Twelve space what is p c sorry again p c so i'm going to enable caps lock swipe twice caps lock on okay a k b c b c a k space okay now i'm going to disable caps lock caps lock off okay two finger left is used to shrink keyboard you can explore screen and complete auto suggestions while keyboard is shrinked you can also type while keyboard is shrinked let's shrink it keyboard shrink okay two finger right swipe will expand keyboard back to full screen keyboard expanded okay uh three finger left swipe will open keyboard selection dialog you can switch to another keyboard from here uh i'm going to use it dialog select another keyboard okay from here you can select uh, samsung keyboard or any other keyboard okay uh now three finger right swipe will work as go send or search okay